welcome back and uh, thank you so much for choosing to stay with us in this hour and we are continuing with our conversation with Mr. Mburu being a rice farmer with a lot of expertise in the field for a very long time. Now when we are talking about rice and the value addition aspects of it, what else do we get out of rice? Is it the only byproduct or there is more? Okay, uh, from uh, rice we get byproducts, we have rice husk, we have bran, uh, we call it fine bran. And then we have uh, like chicken feeds. Mm -hmm. So uh, for bran, uh, in most cases, we na tumua na kurisa wanyama. Kwa husk, kuna vile sasa we na tumika sana sana. Bado kuna watu wanaisiaga inariso wako wanyama. At the same time, uh, inatengeneza vitu kama maka. Na ata hizi cardboards, unawananga sana sana zikiuzwa, uwa pia inatengeneza. Ile chicken feed pia inaweza rizwa kwa wanyama na sana sana wa inarizwa kwa kuku. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Tukio mapumzikoni umetaja kwa mba katika safari yako hiyo ya kuyanza ukule chini. Sasa wewe ni kati ya millers. Ya. Yeah. Sasa sawa. Kabisa. Kufikia kiwango hicho, sasa ndo useme kwa mba we ni miller. Ya. Yeah. Ninaitaji nini? Ah, hiyo pia inakuanga person. Ni vile nilona sasa mimi ni mkurima wa mpunga, hii mchere sasa. So pia nikapata zire combine harvesters. So vile nilisiaga nikaangalia nikaona pia ningetaka ile e, kuprocess ile mchere. So ndio nikakuja nikawa na hiyo rice millers sana sana watu wanaijua inaitwa Anmat Rice Millers. Iko pale Mwea Arong Meru eh, Nairobi Highway. Mm -hmm. So even the one mm -hmm. Yeah. Now when we talk about climate change, mm -hmm. rice farming has been one of the factors that contribute highly to the effects on climate change because of the greenhouse effects it emits mm -hmm. flooded rice. Mm -hmm. Are farmers being educated on that? And if yes, are there any measures that we are taking to make sure that as much as we are involving ourselves in rice farming, we're still finding ways of making sure that we take care of our planet at the same time? Yeah, uh, farmers have been highlighted about uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly uh, when uh, we come to farming, there's a time when we flood our fields. And when we start uh, weeding, you know, kuna wakati, wakati kuna maji. Mm -hmm. That's when we begin uh, weeding. Mm -hmm. So kuna vile sasa mokisa uh, zika zira weeds. Uh, kuna zire gases zina emitua kutoka pare. Mm -hmm. Zondeo sasa waribu sasa wa hiyo uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. And so farmers were educated mm -hmm. to be drying their farms. Mm -hmm. Ile sasa wakati wa uh, wamesa uh, tunasemanga kuzika ile majani mm -hmm. uh, kwa udongo. Mm -hmm. So kwanza wana dry maji kidogo ili ile mason isiendelea kufanyika. At what point do they do the drying? Um, Every now and then, our cutty wame, sa weed, you know, every moment, mm -hmm. uh, waksa mariza, uh, wanaeka samba kama skumbiri tatu hivi, mm -hmm. kabrabado wajarudi samaji. Mm -hmm. yeah. Atuwe hiyo ambayo unazungumzia sasa hivi, ni watu wangapi mbao wanafahamu kama wakulima, na ye, kama ni wachache, mnafanya nini kuwakikisha kwa mba wengi wanapata kufahamu sasa namna ya kutopilia mbali hii? Uh, kuna uko kuna easy bodies uh, kuna researchers na kuna body ingine iko hapo tunaita NIA currently uh, au ndio sana sana ufunza wakulima uh, binu za vile wanafaa kufanya ili mambo kama haya ya climate change waweze kuipunguza Alright. Yeah. Now we want to 